Welcome to the Stacked Supplement Podcast, the premier source for supplement news and reviews. We are back with another episode of the Stacked Supplement Podcast, where we round up all of the exciting stories and big announcements shared on our website from the past seven days. Uh, Firstly, I will apologize as last week uh, we were short on time and weren't able to record that summary episode, uh, but did manage to get an interview in as promised, and we had a great final scoop podcast, which... You can always catch over uh, at the Supplement Engineer, and we do share when that episode goes live. <clears throat> uh, last week, things were definitely quite exciting. A lot of big stories shared, a lot of exciting products uh, hit the market. Uh, we're going to kick it off with news from um, uh, Greg Doucette. Now, if you don't know who that is, he's an IFBB Pro bodybuilder. He um, uh, has become extremely popular, extremely well known on uh, YouTube uh, for its many videos, uh, he does a lot of different uh, informative uh, pieces and educational content and netty or not video, he does quite a bit, He's, uh, if you visit his channel you get a pretty good idea of the uh, the scope of what he does and what he talks about and he's very active putting out videos uh, quite frequently but uh, yeah he was um, previously with Rise, the uh, lifestyle company known for um, what has it, so it's got pre-workout, fat burner, protein powder, um, protein bar more recently so he has a lot of products in its lineup and he was an ambassador for them for i i can't remember how long he's been for longer than a year um but uh, yeah greg Doucette basically came out uh last week and said that he uh, has parted ways with the brand and he is making his own brand now uh yeah he does share a bit of detail about um his reasons for parting with Rise, but one of the big things is is that he wanted to do his own brand, and he does go into a bit of detail about the brand. The reason this is such interesting news is because if you follow Greg, um, like myself, uh, you'll know, again, he's a very informative, very um, experienced, um, very uh, knowledgeable bodybuilder and uh, coach. He does um, coaching plans through his website for anything from diet, supplementation, to training. So, I'm extremely interested to see how this turns out for him, I guess, how the kinds of supplements he puts out when coaches and trainers and bodybuilders get to put their own personal touch on brands. It's always interesting to see what it results in, um, uh, especially when they can actually bring their own own personal touch, kind of like John Meadows back when he did the Intra-MD and the GDA, which I can't remember the name of, when he was with Prime Nutrition. So it's, it's, it's always fun to see experienced people such as, you know, John Meadows putting their personality and experience into supplements. And, and I'm hoping that's what we're going to get with Greg Doucette. While he has become very popular and, you know, could end up doing a very more mainstream brand, <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm just interested to see what kind of supplements he puts out. He's apparently got the formulas, a uh, few of the formulas worked on, noted down. Um, nothing by the sounds of things as far as manufacturing planned so uh, it doesn't sound like um, if he follows typical lead times of like 10 to 12 weeks we're probably not going to be seeing these supplements um, for quite some time uh, probably early to 2021 but um, I'm interested to see how it goes I imagine he will share the process of building the brand and launching the brand and putting together everything on YouTube so it should be a fun thing to watch and follow um, but again, check him out on YouTube. You'll get a good idea of what we're talking about and, 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 and why it's so interesting that he's got his own line coming out. But um, yeah, yeah. Well, we don't. Again, we don't have much detail outside of that. Um, you're not even a name for the brand or a logo or a look. Just that he's got it in the works and it'll be coming out um, very soon. Uh, the next story we got is we actually have two from My Protein. Um, there were two big announcements, uh, two kind of big launches. The first was, um, well, sorry, the one we're going to talk about first, is they came out with a, another protein RTD. Now, the week prior, they came out, with, we posted about Impact Protein Shake, which is the brand's more traditional whey-based, uh, sorry, milk-based, I think it is milk-based, not whey-based, uh, milk-based um, protein RTD, uh, named Impact Protein Shake. Now, this past week, they came out with is essentially, I guess, the same kind of idea, but plant-based and vegan-friendly. Uh, it's called Vegan Protein Shake. Um, comes with uh, 25 grams. Oh, no, sorry. The impact on it's 25 grams. The Vegan Protein Shake has uh, that more common, um, uh, the com- more common amount of protein um, per shake. 
Actually, sorry, it's not the common... Pro- sorry, I was going to say 20 grams. This one actually only has 11 grams of protein. This is one of the big, I guess, key points and interesting facts about this product. Is it only has 11 grams of protein per shake compared to that impact one at 25. And sometimes you see plant shakes and stuff like that at, at um, 20 grams. But yeah, this one only had 11. But the slightly more surprising part was that um, the carbohydrates on this were 17 grams. Uh, and while that isn't too bad, I guess, when it comes to an RTD and being plant-based, it's certainly not like, you know, flat out lean protein. But um, the interesting thing is that those 17 grams, all of them are sugar. And I'm not talking, um, you know, any kind of specific, it's, it's is just straight sugar. When you look on the ingredients label or the ingredients list for the product, the first ingredient on there is sugar. And then you've got, sorry, I think it's water actually, not sugar, it's water, then sugar. Then uh, I think it's pea protein. I think it's the 11 grams of protein is from pea protein. Um, but I, you know, I rattled around in my head. I couldn't think of any other product that 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 that, that, that has that list. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry, here's a, I just click the list now. Um, yeah, so it's water, then sugar, then pea protein. Um, I've seen a lot of RTDs in my time, but I've never seen almost all of them have the protein source at the top or they do a protein blend and then they put the, that combination of sources at the top but i've never seen sugar on a protein rtd or protein powder for that matter listed as pretty much the main ingredient outside of water of course it's just yeah and we pointed that out and i was thought it was well worth highlighting it's not um yeah, we checked the site multiple times. It is just straight, just the straight sugar. I don't know if it's a different type or anything like that. But the ingredients list, yeah, sugar kicks it off just after water. Um, so I mean, it's a it's a cool idea. I like the like that they did the vegan friendly version. But when I started digging a little bit deeper, I was like, oh, I mean, if I, I mean, if there was if they had the impact protein shake, if that one had the same kind of ratio of protein to sugar as the vegan protein shake, I probably wouldn't touch it, to be honest. I mean, I usually turn my protein shakes around and aim for less carbs than protein, 25 grams, maybe 10. Sometimes RTDs are a little bit higher than your typical protein powder and water. But um, yeah, you definitely don't, I don't think I've ever seen the sugar that high. Just especially high, even if it's close to the protein amount, you never see it. Um, that much higher than the protein i think it's just we calculated it to be like just over 50 percent more sugar than it does protein which again um but uh while that was definitely a, a new product and and worth highlighting you can check the story out and, and we go into detail about um a few more of its details on the site uh it my protein did drop one other kind of major release last week uh for halloween which i thought was a lot more interesting um so basically they came out with uh, it's like a Halloween edition mystery flavor of uh, my protein signature protein powder, which is called Impact Whey Protein. Um, so the what makes these things so special is that firstly they come in um, black bags, so they're not the typical white; they're black, and then they have like a Halloween theme to them. So there's like a a little Halloween design on there, and then the mystery flavor. Uh, it's, 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 it's a bit different, the, the look, but the key point is is that on one of them is his trick and the other one's his treat, so there's two of them. And you couldn't buy them separately. You had to buy them together. You'd buy them, I think it was like yeah, 20, uh, 23 pounds, which is roughly like 30 US, uh, and you get a 500 gram bag of each. The one's called trick, and it's got like a black bag with orange accents, and the other one was called treat, and it's um, black with purple accents. But they're both called mystery flavor. And so it, what they've actually done here, and I, and I reached out for more details, is um, so they don't tell you what the flavor is. That's kind of the whole catch. It's a big mystery. It's a big fun game. Um, pl- play, I guess. And the initially I thought that that meant that they had just randomized the flavors. And my protein has a mountain of flavors for Impact Way. So I thought it would be a really cool idea. But what they actually have done is the orange one, Trick, uh, that is one specific flavor. That is, um, uh, so if you went, so if I went and bought the two and you went and bought the two and someone else went and bought, bought the two, we'd all get the same two flavors, if that makes sense. It's not completely random. Um, they don't tell you what the flavors are. That's the only, the, the mysterious part. 
but um, the flavors that they are, the, the orange one and the purple one, um, are, uh, they're both flavors that you can already buy for um, uh, impact whey protein. So they can, so there are flavors that if you've tried all of the ones on the supplements menu, you would have come across them before. But again, the whole, the whole idea is just that you don't know what you're getting uh, until you've tried it or your friend tries it. And uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. It's a nice little trick, a uh, nice little play for, for Halloween. Um, and quite a little creative spin from the team at uh, my protein. But um, while we're talking about protein powder, um, Nutribio also came out last week with a product that it had previously teased and talked about and mentioned, and that is Clear Wave Protein Isolate. Now, this is, um, if you follow Stags, you'll know this is something we've been seeing, I wouldn't say a lot of, but a good amount um, with kind of refreshing fruit flavored protein powders. This, uh, I think, Dimatize, Muscle Tech, um, they were a couple of the first ones to do it. It's basically a protein powder that instead of being in your traditional. Um, chocolate vanilla cookies and cream flavors they're whey isolate protein powders that come in fruity flavors um, we've seen a mountain of different ones and this isn't just a trend in the u.s we've seen it quite a few european brands do something similar um not similar pretty much the same uh, in the first few months of this year um oh, what's his name body lab i think is, is the, the danish brand they've done one xsl nutrition did one in germany um, I mean, I could probably go back and rattle off a bunch. There was a few out there have now got these uh, you know, the colorful, refreshing, fruit-flavored protein powders, and Nutribio has now uh, joined in and, and, and come out with its version. Um, and yeah, it's a, I guess it's a nice spin, especially if you're someone who gets bored with your traditional flavors when it comes to protein powder. And the best part about this is that it is whey isolate-based, so all of these fruit-flavored protein powders are all whey isolate-based. Uh, so you're guaranteed to get a good good source of protein and the f- um, you know lean premium fast absorbing stuff, and uh, yeah, so the flavors Nutribio has put together for its one uh, for its uh, clear weight protein isolate. Uh, there are three. You have just to remember them now. Yeah, there we go. Mango mist, watermelon breeze, and pineapple splash. And again, they're lean. They're whey isolate based, so they're quite lean. Uh, there's 20 grams of protein per serving, so they've you know they've uh, scaled down the, the 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 serving size quite a bit compared to their uh, regular whey protein isolate non fruit flavored one. Um, and it's uh, zero fat, no sugar, uh, less than a gram of carbs, and 80 calories. So it's about as lean as you're going to get when it comes to uh, protein powders. And um, the price on it isn't too bad. It's 30 bucks for a tub of I think it's, is it 20 servings, 20 servings. And you get 20 grams of protein in each, so it's not. It is quite a small tub, um, and I worked it out. the The difference in price there is a, a noticeable, notable difference in price when you compare, like price per um, the amount of protein you get compared of the you know the new clear whey so compared to the um, Nutribio's regular one, the the regular whey protein isolate and chocolate peanut butter and all that it is quite different but at the same time i guess if you want to try something different it's it's, it's not too much of a of a leap um from the regular two pound uh if you're comparing their five pound size it's, it's much more comparable but um i guess it's not too much money to throw out there just to have a little fun and mix things up with the pro workout shake or whenever you throw down uh, your your whey protein powder uh, next up, we got news from uh, the Skinny Food Co. And this was quite exciting. In fact, if you caught our podcast interview with, um, we did one not too long ago with uh, one of the founders of the brand. Um, the Skinny Food Co. is, of course, the UK functional brand that's been the busiest brand probably this year in the, in the category. Um, uh, they talked about several new releases, uh, kind of the ideas behind some of the lines and the and the spinoffs. And... Um, we also got a bit of detail out about, uh, so the Skinny Food Co. came out with a brand called Fake Away, and it's sort of like a takeaway fast food inspired brand and, and flavors and stuff like that. And they, it started out with uh, high protein pizza bases, uh, low carb as well, and then it also did a line of sauces, um, all kind of like takeaway inspired flavors. It was like burger, kebab, and pizza, and curry I think was another one. And um, so in our interview, um, we went into more detail on the post about this on the site as well. Uh, they mentioned they're coming out with f- uh, meals under the Fake Away brand. Now, these aren't your traditional, like, compact, convenient kind of meals. These are um, 
how do you explain them? Basically, they're shelf stable pouch pack kind of meals. Uh, we they're similar to what Performance Meals did, which is a UK brand we posted about not too long ago. And the way they work is they just they come in um, little containers or pouches, and they're shelf stable, so you don't need to put them in the freezer or in the fr uh, refrigerator or anything. You can just basically put them on the shelf, put them in your pantry, and they're good for up to a year, I think, since from production date. So they're ultra convenient. This isn't uh, this isn't meal prep services where you'd get them fresh and you know, put them in your refrigerator and have them. You'd have to eat them before I guess the certain expiry date. These are just yeah, you can buy in bulk, keep them around, eat them before the year is up. And it's a really cool concept, and Fakeaway has taken that concept and it's um, coming out of line with Fakeaway uh, meals that, uh, yeah, they, they have that whole shelf-stable angles in them. Um, but more importantly, it's going to have a nice Fakeaway twist where uh, each meal has under 200 calories and all of the meals are inspired by popular uh, international dishes some of the examples they gave us were Chinese uh, sweet and sour pork and Indian chicken tikka masala. So they'll keep that theme going, I guess, of that takeaway, fake away angle that they've got with the sauces, with uh, pizza, kebab, and curry. Um, and they'll carry that into the uh, the meals. I thought it was a really cool idea, and it should be awesome to see. Uh, I like the approach that they've taken. I was worried that since fake away is coming from the Skinny Food Co., I was a bit... I was thinking maybe they they might end up doing something similar and it wouldn't be a too distinguishable from the regular lineup. But with the sauces and the pizza bases and now these meals, it's really going to help separate the two. If anything, the meals will probably be, will probably be the key product because, again, you have sauces under the Skinny Food Co. And um, I think the, the, uh, the, the meals will be a nice offering that you don't get with the Skinny Food Co., um, and can with with fake away. So yeah, I thought that was a pretty cool, cool little thing to to see and hear about and share. Um, the next story we've got keeps us in or the next couple stories we have keeps us in the European market um, with Got Seven Nutrition. And I sound like a broken record, but uh, Got Seven Nutrition is easily, I would say, quite possibly my favorite functional brand. It hasn't. It, it doesn't do a lot. It doesn't. It's not consistent and. You know, frequent uh, like the Skinny Food Co. It, it doesn't often put out a lot of new products and, and, and items, but the ones it puts out are just just awesome, amazing, creative, different. Uh, it's the maker of it was the original Bahia Bar, which is I guess one of the best the best protein snacks we'd had. Uh, it's a very uh, Kit Kat like snack. Um, they've expanded into multiple sources, premium sources, still low calorie, but slightly higher calorie, focusing more on flavor. They've done multiple uh, on-the-go snacks. Their chips are amazing. They, remember, they launched uh, protein nachos, um, which were incredibly lean, and they, back, they, they had little salsa sauce that you could buy with the chips that were only at 20 calories per pot. I mean... They put together some truly awesome stuff, and whenever they launch something, you know it tastes amazing. So, this past week, Got Seven came out with uh, two items. The first is uh, chocolate topping, which well, it's called it's called just called topping, but what it is is basically a tube of chocolate chips available in uh, regular milk chocolate and white chocolate, um, but they're chocolate chips that uh, have no added sugar. So. The idea, I guess, is the is low calorie, um, low calorie, low carb, um, low all around nutritionally, and you would throw them on your regular dessert or even your healthy dessert or basically wherever you would want to use chocolate chips. But these are not completely guilt free. They're not zero calorie. I think on the uh, ten gram serving, uh, it's five point six grams of carbs with only eight hundred milligrams of that sugar, three and a half, three point four fat. Uh, 600 milligrams of protein so again it's pretty uh, flat nutritionally across the board and 48 calories so it's not completely guilt-free but 10 grams of chocolate chips thrown for 48 calories i guess is is, is is not bad but um the other item the brand launched was a whole lot more exciting uh with uh protein cheesecake um it's kind of it's not even though uh what was that brand uh, enlightened just did something similar with their um cookie dough bites and their keto friendly cheesecakes uh these 
are very, very different. These don't appear to be something that needs to be chilled or frozen. Uh, it's just a straight uh, protein cheesecake, and the macros on it are about as yes, mass gainer esque as you're gonna, probably going to find. Um, each cheesecake is it's pretty damn heavy. You're looking at 450 grams, so just shy of a, a kilogram, half a kilogram per cheesecake. Uh, comes in two flavors. Uh, one I think there's lemon and I was trying to remember the other one. Is, I think it's just the original or oh, vanilla. So there's lemon and vanilla, and um, <clears throat> each cheesecake uh, at 450 grams packs a hefty uh, 67.5 grams of protein. So these are these are fairly beasty. Um, but obviously mo- there are a lot of foods out there that you could eat half a kilo of and get that much protein. But the key on this one is that um, it's 20 grams of fat. Uh, only 103.5 grams of, sorry, not only, 103.5 grams of carbs, but only 12.6 grams of that is sugar. Uh, all up, you get 729 calories. So it is very much like a mass gainer, uh, arguably a lean mass gainer, with that 67 grams of protein to 103 grams of carbs. It's a, it's a I would say, a pretty substantially lean, um, I guess, treat or meal, uh, if your carbs were that high, now you obviously don't need to eat the whole thing. You can eat half, but um, you know who's not going to who's going to open a cheesecake and eat half. And the other catch is obviously coming from Got Seven Nutrition. I know the thing's going to taste amazing. I'm disappointed. I'm not in Europe right now and can't get my hands on it. But um, yeah, it, it's it's you know coming from Got Seven, it tastes amazing. And then you have the other pro the other point that. Uh, the brand does offer sauces, uh, dessert type sauces, sweet sauces, and then it has the chocolate chips that are just launched. So you could throw all these together and, and truly make yourself a uh, a delicious dessert, although still calorie dense, but the macro profile, I guess, is just a little better balance towards those who want low sugar, high protein. Um, but at the same time, the most interesting part about all this is it's just, it's not something you see from a protein snack brand, it's not something you've seen from a lot of brands, if any brands. I mentioned Enlighten, but theirs was a sort of a frozen treat kind of thing, and that's their specialty. This is something from a functional company who does baking mixes, protein snacks, and they, I mean, they have protein powders, but it's just a very different kind of thing to expect. And that's what I've always enjoyed about Got7 Nutrition. Um, you can check out more details on those on the site. I believe uh, they're in they're out and available in Germany and Europe now, the, the, the protein cheesecake. And the chocolate chips. I didn't see as many people stocking the chocolate chips as I did the protein cheesecake, but they both kind of drop. So I imagine in the coming weeks, people will see them show up in their typical Got7 nutrition retailer. Uh, the last story we have to round out this week's episode uh, is f- uh, from Gaspari. And I will admit this, we mentioned this before. I think we might have mentioned on a previous episode. If not, it was probably the final scoop podcast that I do. Um, Gaspari stirred got a lot of attention basically when it recently started teasing an all new supplement that later turned out to be uh, Super Pump Aggression which is basically its latest and greatest pre-workout um, the reason it got so much attention was that um, so the brand kind of hyped the hell out of this one not necessarily you know they weren't hyping and teasing every day they were just I guess the the key thing that they did was the claims that they made so if they were just teasing this, they probably would have not been as let down. But So they uh, started teasing the product, saying that it was going to feature uh, next-generation um, ingredients and advanced technology, which, again, two things kind of were quite bold to say. And, and uh, we later found out it was a pre-workout. So we were kind of just extremely excited to see how this thing played out. Uh, next generation ingredients and advanced technology in a pre-workout certainly suggested that we were going to be in for some very different ingredients, some very different formulas, some things that we hadn't seen before. I was hyped to see how it turned out. I was very excited to see how it turned out. Um, And then Gaspari mentioned that it had been working on the supplement for two years. So it had been two years in the making. Which you, you, I couldn't, I couldn't help but be excited that this was going to be something different for the pre-workout category. And after just experiencing Inspired's uh, a Devastate of the Union, which is now our number one rated pre-workout, and if I haven't said enough, you definitely need to try that thing. It is 
one of my favorite pre-workouts of all time and that goes from the dma era all the way through to now uh, i rank it up there as just one of the best first powerful experiences i've had i mean you get build a tolerance to it which can be avoided if you don't take it that much maybe like two three maybe four times a week but uh those 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 workouts without a tolerance just insane but so i had just come off trying that and i was sitting there thinking okay so stuff can be done like the 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 bar can still be raised Uh, the boundaries can be pushed so i was thinking super pump aggression could be this could be we could be seeing devastate of the union and then just another level and i'm like okay this could be awesome um so basically they teased it hyped it over the past couple weeks and this past week they finally launched the thing and so they revealed the formula and it doesn't look it's not too bad i a, uh, if you've checked it out you know your ingredients it's not too bad it's got a pretty solid well-rounded formula you get four grams of pure citrulline uh, so a good good amount of pumps in there you got 3.2 grams of beta alanine there are a few other things in there uh, agmatine's in there at one and a half 400 milligrams of caffeine so good solid dose of uh, caffeine for stim for energy theobromine's in there as well uh, alpha yohimbi yohimbine sorry dmae um, choline's in there as well but at a very light dose i think it's 100, 100 milligrams so it's not a lot but yeah so it's it's to, to be fair it's a pretty well-rounded free workout it's it's got a lot of key dosages of uh, important ingredients reliable ingredients and it launched at 31.99 so this isn't you know those pre-workouts sitting at the 50 dollars, 60 dollars mark this is a solid pre-workout um in the 30 range which is what we used to see about five years ago 30 30 to 40 was 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 the range now we're getting products up in the 40s and 50s they justify it of course with their uh, much bigger ingredients and uh, loaded profiles but for for that 30 32 dollars it was a solid supplement but i think the reason super pump aggression i think is uh caused a bit of a stir and got a lot of attention was that it kind of it had as i mentioned it had me excited it had us hyped it had me thinking i was in for something different the the mention of the uh, advanced technology next generation ingredients been in the works for two years and to see a formula made up of ingredients that i had seen before it was nothing new there was nothing no the dosages weren't like you know, industry first, the the, the, the beta alanine is at 3.2, a typical 3.2. So nothing was too surprising. Nothing was actually the surprising at all. The surprise was mostly that it was no, not surprising. Um, so, I mean, I guess the, the, the whole summary, the whole reason this is going to be the final part of the podcast is that it was, it was a big hype and a bit of a letdown, but I don't think I would have been let down or disappointed if they didn't hype in the first place if they had made an attempt at i guess giving us something that i hadn't seen before it wouldn't have been that bad but um it's a it's an interesting supplement you can definitely check it out again uh i think it's it was a big release for gaspari no doubt it will be a big release for gaspari it's uh, the latest version of super pump which has been on the market for jesus as long as i can remember um this is the latest iteration apparently in the works for two years um and again a well-rounded formula solid profile I, I i don't think it was worth that extra hype they that they had but at the same time you can't blame brands sometimes for this for this over this extra hype you sometimes you have to i mean again you just can't blame them to, to make themselves stand out in a market that's just so crowded i mean i'm seeing pre-workouts God, I don't even know how many, maybe one a day. It's difficult to keep up, and some of these pre-workouts are from brands that only make the pre-workout. So it's a, it's a tough time, and I guess they did their best to stand out. I would have liked to see them follow through on their promise, but um, yeah, you can uh, you can check out the full profile and the ingredients on the site. Uh, you can buy it now. I believe it's still, uh, I don't know if this sale's still running, but uh, you will be able to pick it up from their site. Uh, three different flavors to choose from and it's 25 servings per tub so this isn't the the 2040 that we see from a lot of the more premium higher price products where you got 40 servings or 22 scoop servings this is a 25 across the board full workout servings and again at 32 dollars 
with that many servings and a pretty well put together um, solid profile it's 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 a good contender it's a good entry into the market for Gaspari um, only okay I, only knock is that I was hoping for for something I hadn't I didn't know what I was hoping for but I just hoping for something I hadn't seen before but um, yeah once again you can check that out on the site uh, you can head to GasparriNutrition.com to per- purchase super pump aggression but um thank you for tuning in for this episode look forward to having you again uh, next week to catch up on all the exciting news as always follow the site and we are working on two more interviews i believe if we go as planned um we will get them out uh one this week and one next week i won't name who they are because i'm not 100 percent sure if we're about to squeeze them in but they will be fun as always and uh once again thank you